Hey guys, it's me again. Just a really brief rant this morning. Um, Today is October 2nd and it is Feast of Trumpets. I, I believe it um, lasts from today until the 4th. Anyway, um, I believe Rosh Hashanah is also the other name for it. Maybe. I'm not sure. But um, anyway, um, I'm making this video because the Rapture Police are at it again. Um, specifically, I'm talking about Amir Sarfati. Um, I respect the guy when it comes to providing us news about Israel. And um, he's very, very reliable when it comes to that. But that's about it. Um, he just put up a video today, I believe, about the true meaning of Rosh Hashanah. And um, I didn't watch the video. I just sort of scrolled through the transcript to find key phrases that he said. And um, lo and behold, so predictable. I mean, I knew he was going to say it, and he did. So basically he said almost in the exact same words that Rosh Hashanah is not anything to be excited about as far as the rapture is concerned. Um, you know, before he got to that point in the video, he, you know, did, you know, he pulled rank because he's Jewish and explained to us, you know, the, you know, all the customs and the meanings of the trumpets and all that. So he um, was telling us, you know, towards the end of the video that, yeah, Rosh Hashanah is nothing to be excited about, guys. So um, nothing to see here, folks. And, um, of course, he continues and says that to remind each and every single one of us that nobody knows the day and the hour. And um, as I've said many, many times before, that verse has nothing to do with the rapture. And as I've said many times before, pastors, church leaders, Christian leaders, all these guys hate the notion of the rapture. Well, they might talk, they might talk about it and even act like they're excited for it. And as I've said many times before, they have no problem with the rapture just being this hakuna matata for all of us, like a happy thought, something that's down the horizon but will never actually get to. Because the minute we start taking the rapture seriously and we start looking around us to see all these signs happening, we shift our focus away from these leaders, from these pastors, these churches, and towards Jesus. Because that's what we should be doing anyway. And when our focus is on Jesus and not these guys, it's also directly related to the tithes and donations they're used to receiving. You know, I'm telling you, these guys behind closed doors, they have probably these charts and graphs that correlates rapture and tithes. And they're probably seeing this graph or whatever thing they do that whenever there's a high watch date or some event that might be considered one of the birth pangs that Jesus is talking about, they're probably seeing like the tithes go down, the donations, because people are looking to get out of here. And they hate that. That's really probably what's going on. And um, as I've been saying forever now, if you're in ministry and if you're taking money, either asking for donations or just accepting people's you know, goodwill and giving you money, then you're basically disqualified from true ministry. It doesn't mean that you won't succeed. You're probably succeeding because of your own brilliance, because you're a good salesman, because you're an eloquent speaker. And, you know, even though God may still work through whatever joke of a ministry you have, it's in spite of your ministry, not because of it, that people are getting saved. And um, so anyway, 
these guys, they hate the rapture when it's becoming a real thing. And it's really becoming a real thing. And, um, you know, we are in a high watch um, week, really. And I personally have received signs from the Lord that suggest it could be during the Feast of Trumpets this year. But as I mentioned in my video from yesterday, I have not gotten a confirmation from the Lord yet. So I'm just kind of sitting back and waiting to see what happens. I'm not going to be dogmatic and, and say that it's going to happen um, now, you know, this week. I'm really hoping that it will, but, you know, again, I don't have confirmation, so I will not be dogmatic about it. But as I've been saying over the past year, more than a year now, that we will get that direct revelation from the Lord as far as the timing of the rapture is concerned. And as I've been saying forever, nobody knows the day and the hour has nothing to do with the rapture. And the Lord tells us to watch, not so that we'll never know, but so we will know. And we might not know that far ahead of time when it actually happens, but we still will know. And um, yeah, guys, so keep looking up. You always see these police, the rapture police, telling us not to get excited because in their heart of hearts, they hate his appearing. It doesn't matter if they talk about the rapture like they're excited about it. You, you can really tell their true colors whenever they start rebuking other believers for getting excited about the rapture. And when they tell you that nobody knows the day and the hour, what they're really saying is, stop watching. Nobody knows the day and the hour. It could be in a million years from now. So don't waste your time. Keep giving us your attention. Keep giving us your money. That's really what they mean. So um, do not be discouraged, guys. I'm hoping the rapture happens this week. If it doesn't, we need to still keep looking up because our redemption still draws near. The birth pangs have not slowed down. Things are happening and escalating in Israel. So um, just keep looking up. The birth pangs are all around us. And we will get that direct revelation from the Lord, those of us who truly seek Him. So keep watching. I know people say that, yeah, I'm not looking at dates because I'm always watching. That's, that's just nonsense. You're not really watching if, it, if you're not even thinking about it, if you're not despairing over it. And, you know, it's, it's easy to be on the position that, you know, the rapture's not going to happen today. It's not going to happen tomorrow. Because most likely you're going to be right. You're always going to be right until you're finally not. The rapture is a one-time event. People who are looking for it and saying that it's soon, we're only going to be right once. So um, keep enjoying being right. If you're actually celebrating the fact that Jesus hasn't come back to call us up to meet him in the air, then you have bigger issues. I would recommend that you truly examine your heart if you're truly of the faith if you're celebrating because Jesus didn't come back for us yet because those of us who truly belong to the Lord we will long for him every day we will be willing to drop whatever great thing we think we have going on in this life just so we can meet him in the air be with him for eternity and be granted our eternal incorruptible glorified bodies so um that's all I got for you guys. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time, and hopefully there won't be a next time.